If you guys are looking for some cheap coins on FC25, make sure you check out MMOEXP.com. Their link is down in the description. They're fast, cheap, and reliable. And if you use my code REMA, you can get yourself a lovely 5% discount. So what's up guys, it's Ash here and welcome back to a brand new video. Now in today's video guys, we have some tactics for the 451 formation that I've been using in FC25. The 451 is a really nice formation because it's really good in the attack as you have a lot of different options with it. And it's also very solid in the defense as you obviously have five across the midfield and four in the back line. So it is a really, really nice formation to use and I hope you guys do enjoy it. So uh, yeah, with all that side guys, let's get right into the video. Hope you enjoy. Okay then guys, so starting off with the tactics what I've been currently using with the 451 one of my favorite formations is you obviously have to have your tactical preset on custom this is so you can make all the changes that you want and you're not restricted to the EA uh, presets so just ensure you have it on custom here and then the formation we have as the 451 flat right here for the build-up style guys we have this on balance now this is a preference based thing but I like it because I feel like sometimes you know your players can come short and other times they can make those darting runs in behind on the build-up so I really like balance but you guys might want to change that uh, and that is also absolutely fine with a defensive approach guys this is also preference based uh, I have it on balance because you know I don't like having my defensive line too high and also don't like it being too deep so I just leave it on the complete default uh, and it does me all right but again there is no right or wrong with this uh, just pick something that you are personally comfortable with now for the player uh, player roles guys without the ball this is what it looks like this is one of the reasons I said the formation is so good because it defends in that base 4-5-1 uh, that's how formations work in this game that's how tactics work so without the ball it will just defend in that base formation so it's really good when it defends like that and then a bit more interestingly this is what it looks like on the ball and this is what we've been using so we're going to quickly go through it now and explain why i use what i use so on this striker, I just have them on advanced forward. Uh, this is because we only have one striker in the setup, and it means they'll be nice and versatile. They'll do a bit of everything. Sometimes they'll help in the build-up. Other times they'll make those runs in behind and stuff like that. So advanced forward's really nice. Uh, but again, you can change the role to suit what you need. Now for the right mid and the left mid in the 451. So obviously Rashford and Chiesa, as you can see here, the left mid and the right mid, they go all the way up here in the attack like wingers. So we have them on inside forward and change their focus from balanced to attack now the reason we have them on inside forward is because it's a really good attacking ai movement where they start their runs out in the wider areas and then transition into the more narrow areas to get closer to goal and stuff like that uh, it's really good for like travellers and finesse shots and even power shots because that is the matter at the moment so it really does assist you with that uh, and it's probably the most reliable role for like a wide player in my opinion and then we also have the uh, focus on attack like i said just to push them a bit higher up uh, so it's not too congested in that midfield now for this right centre mid, we use an attacking centre mid. So I use someone like Kevin De Bruyne, somebody that can really pl like play that key pass, somebody that's going to be a bit more creative because this 4-3-3 alone doesn't strictly have a playmaker. It doesn't have a cam. So we kind of just make like a makeshift playmaker in this centre mid here and pop them on the playmaker role so that they can do a bit of everything in the attacks. Really nice to have somebody like De Bruyne. Uh, in this position and it works quite nicely for this middle center mid guys i have a more defensive minded player in shua many so somebody that's just going to be a guardian and we have them on that holding role just to lock down the middle of the pitch it's really nice to have really effective and it helps protect that back line as much as possible for the left center mid we have a box to box so something that's going to be up and down the pitch you can see the heat map here they do quite a lot they will attack and defend help you transition from defense to attack so it's useful to have somebody with a plus in this role at least uh, and somebody with really nice well-rounded stats like this Taram so that it can do a bit of everything. Now for the right back, Dallo, I have them on false back. This is partially because he has that plus plus variation. But the reason I like doing this is because as you can see here, we have a playmaker um, that pushes a bit forward when we have the ball. So it leaves space for this false back here to then push in and cover that space where the, the center mid should actually be. So it kind of just gives us a bit more on the ball. Uh, it's really nice to have. Um, but if you want to like swap this out and maybe make him like a wing back or something like that, then that is also obviously fine. But I've been really enjoying Dallo on this false back role here. And then for this left back, I pop them on wing back. This is just to give us a bit of width in the formation as it can be quite narrow. Uh, so this is really nice as you always have this player out wide if you need somebody to look for, uh, if you're being pressured and stuff like that. Um, for the two centre backs, guys, I have them on defender, but you guys can change that if you like. 
Uh, and the keeper, I also have them on goalkeeper as opposed to sweeper. But yeah, they are my tactics. Um, feel free to tweak them if you like or just copy them. Give them a go. Uh, and yeah, I hope these help you out, guys. If they did, please be sure to drop this video a thumbs up because it does help me out massively. Sub to the channel if you are new so you don't miss out on any videos. And don't forget to turn on those notifications. So uh, yeah, with all that stuff, guys, hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out, guys, and take care.